Hi everyone, it's Sorkin. Today we have a problem when we are given n tiles and we need to return all possible sequences that we can make from the, that tile, from those tiles. So for example, in this case, let's take this example, we have A, A, B and uh, we can, how many possible sequences that we can make is A, B, A, 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 B and so on. So how are we going to solve this problem? We are going to solve using backtracking solution. So for the backtracking solution, the most important thing is to exactly visualize how we are generate the tree, right? So for example, in this case, let's put here how we are exactly going to generate the tree. So we are generating, for example, A, right? So the first first this is zero index first index and second index and uh, while we are generating a tree we are go also going to maintain one more we are uh, going to maintain one more variable which is array of boolean with the size of n where we are going to store that the whether or not we have visited that element so for example we have visited zero element right so we are going to add that to our boolean so we visited zero now we are going and uh, we are exploring again a, A, B, our tiles from the beginning, right? Let's go and explore A, the first zero, but we have already visited zero, so we are not considering this one, and we are backtracking, so now we are adding, adding the second one, A, A, have we visited first index? No, we have not, so we are adding A, A here, and the same way we are adding, so how about the third one? So this is the first one, right? First index we're visiting here, and here A, a b we are going to the third one here so we are adding that so we have we visited a second index no we have not so that's why we are also considering that and we are backtracking from here the same way we are going to the second a a is index being one and we are generating a tree starting from the beginning the same way as we did here right but another thing is that uh, so for example we this a a, 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 B, but we have one more A here, right? In our case, the, the generated combinations, generated permutations should be unique. How we are going to resolve that part? So we are going to create a set, right, where we are going to store our values. So for example, if we added that here on this branch, when we try to add A the second time, we, we, are not, we won't be able to do that because we already have a in our set and at the end as a result we are going to return the size of that set whatever the size of the set we are going to re return that as a result okay first thing that we are going to do we are going to create a set of strings that we are going to store our result let's just call it the result and it's going to be new hash set right it's going to be new hash set and we are going to return the size of our so we are returning our result so we are going to return the size of our result right so now we can go and generate three of all possible tiles so for that let's create a method backtracking let's just call it a backtracking and here what we are going to pass here here we are going to pass first thing that we are going to pass we need to pass our tiles but uh, we need to, we are going to we need to pass them in form of the characters right so we are going to take the characters and uh, let's just call it the tiles right so then we are going to pass here our visited boolean of um array of boolean with the way we are we are going to store whether or not we have visited that particular tile so we are boolean array of boolean let's just call it a visited right and also we are going to pass here our temp result which is in our case we are going to take the string builder right string builder let's call it temp result temp result and we are going to pass our result right set of strings Call, let's call it result okay so that's it so what this is our backtracking method right so first thing that what we are going to do let's go over our characters right character i is equals to zero i is less than our characters our sort of tiles tiles length and uh, and I think here I plus plus okay if 
what we are gonna do if it's not visited, right? If we are checking if visited, if it's not visited, if I is not visited, then in that case, what we are gonna do, what we are gonna do, first thing is we are gonna mark that as a visited. So we are gonna mark I as true, right? And also we can copy paste here as we backtrack, we are gonna we are going to set that to false in order to use that in another branch of our tree, right? So we are setting that to false. Okay, we are opening that uh, our statement with setting our visited to true for i. The next thing that uh, we are going to do, we are going to add to our temp result. We are going to add to our temp result. We are going to append append whatever character is there. So tiles, we are taking the I and the we are adding to our string, right? And we are adding our temp result. We are adding to our result. So result add, we are gonna add our temp result. We are gonna add our temp result to a string, okay? So now we have added to our result and now we can backtrack, right? So now we can backtrack. So not, not to backtrack and now we can recursively call other, other recursively call and uh, explore other options. So for that, we are passing our tiles. We are passing our visited, right? And we are passing our temp result, our temp result and we are passing our result, okay? So as we backtrack, so we are exploring, we are iteratively calling, iteratively we are exploring our tree, and now we are backtracking. When we are backtracking from our temp result, we need to return, we need to remove our last character, other, uh, the last character that we have in temp result, otherwise, so in the result we will have characters that we don't need for the for the other branch. Let's say we explore the left branch, right? Now we are backtracking. We need to remove those characters from the temp result. So we are deleting delete character, we delete character at, and we are removing the last character, right? So we are taking our temp result, temp result length, and minus one. So we are removing the last character and uh, that's it. So here to start that we need to start our call our backtracking method here, right? So we are going to pass tiles. We are going to pass for the visited. We are going to pass here new Boolean, right? New Boolean with the size being tiles, tiles length. Okay, and also we need to pass here temp result. In our case, it's going to be a new string builder, string builder. Okay, let's run it. Okay, here we need to convert it to array of characters, so to character array, right? We are going to convert that also here. It's a length. Okay, let's run it one more time. Okay, it's here delete. Delete character. Okay. Let's run it one more time. Okay, great. It works as expected. Let's calculate our time and space complexity. What's our time complexity? The time complexity in our case, so it's a permutation, right? To generate all possible solutions, it's n factorial. And how about the space complexity? The space complexity is determined by size of our set. Size of our set, in this case, in the worst case, let's say that we have all unique characters. In that case, it's also going to be n factorial. Okay, uh, that's it. That's it for today. Hope you like my content. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. See you next time. Bye.